I really want to explain uh, the different filler designs that work really well in the uh, open areas when you're going to do all over quilting all over your quilt. So there are a couple different designs that work really well for this and one of them is independent designs. Now independent designs are like stippling. They start with a leading line and you're just simply taking that line and wiggling it around. Now stippling is just one type of independent design. It's the most popular type and it's the one most people are familiar with, but it's by no means the most, uh, the only one. We have many different independent designs, uh, including Wandering Clover, which is essentially stippling, only every once in a while you branch out with three loops for your clover. So you just continue to wiggle around and then occasionally loop around and make a little clover leaf. So that's an easy variation and of course you can make a million variations just with stippling alone. You could do hearts, you know, just a little heart every once in a while that makes a new design and then of course you could do stars. There are a million variations just simply using the base that is stippling. But you know, you can do stippling without a wiggly line. What if we exchange the wiggly line for a straight line? Well, it continues being an independent design and then you get circuit board. So it's still not crossing itself. It's still very independent, working independently of everything around it. Uh, but at the same time, it's still working the same way. We could still shrink this, we could still expand this. This can pretty much work in any area of your quilting space. So if we continue to work with this straight line, uh, now let's, let's play with a uh, lollipop chain. So we have a straight line, then we go into a spiral, and then we come back out. While we do a little bit of traveling here on the stem, overall this design still works the same way as the other ones do very independently of everything around them and this is something that you can stitch very big or very small. See here I can easily expand this to make a big giant lollipop or I could do some very tiny ones. Essentially there is a reason why stippling has been the most popular design quilters have used for many many years. It's because it's one of the most easy designs to use. But independent designs aren't the only one, uh, but they do work very, very well when you're wanting to cover your whole quilt in all over quilting. And we're actually going to use lollipop chain to cover the whole surface of our all over quilting quilt. So another kind of design that many beginners find fairly easy to work with is pivoting designs. And these are all based off of the free motion quilting design called Paisley. So how this starts, is Paisley is started by first creating a teardrop shape and then you return to your starting point. This is a very important part of the design. You always return to that starting point. So then you pivot and you echo that design and you can echo as many times as you want so long as you're always returning to that starting point. I call it a pivoting design because you're pivoting off that one point. So now to get to the next Paisley, you simply travel stitch along the side right there and come up with another Paisley shape. And of course, echo it. And then if you wanted to, you could travel in between them and come up with another one. Just like stippling, I kind of work this in a row, more or less, along my quilting space. So this design would work really well for all of your quilting as well. To change out and come up with new paisley shapes, all you have to do is change the shape that you start with. So if you exchange the teardrop for a triangle, you get pointy paisley. And of course, if you make your pointy paisley wiggly, you get drunk pointy paisley. So here we have a wiggly triangle, as long as you have three points. That's what counts. So that's all the different types of Paisley designs that you can come up with. That, just, that is actually just three. There's many, many more. All you have to do is change that initial starting shape and it will work in any area of your quilt. The really fun thing is once you get the hang of traveling against the edges of your Paisley shapes, it becomes really, really easy to move from one area to another. I work this generally, like I said, in a row, and because I work it in a row, that makes it very easy to cover the whole surface of your quilt with it. 
You can also easily expand this or contract this. So I can make some really tiny paisleys right here, or I can make them really big. Another type of design that we can use to easily fill large or small areas of our quilt is called echoing designs. These designs originated with a design called Echo Shell, and I based this off of a traditional Baptist fan. So it starts with a half circle shape, then you travel stitch a distance away from that half circle. So here we're going to echo, we're going to travel again, and echo again. Now in order to start your next motif, just simply come off in a different direction. Travel stitch along that edge, and echo it. Of course I would have the edge of my quilting space come in here so I'm actually echoing against something, but you get the idea. This design is also worked and can be worked more or less in a row and it can easily be expanded or shrunk down. So here's a very small echo shell and of course you see the very big ones. You can change out and come up with new echoing designs simply by changing the shape again. So as we start with the triangle and we echo it one time, we come up with trippy triangles. If we start with a hook design, then we get echo hook. There are many different variations of echoing designs. I'm still playing with this design quite a bit for new fillers for the project. But you can get the idea that this works both big and small, and you can more or less work this in a row, so it will easily fill a quilt with all over quilting. So there you have it. We now have a variety of different textures that work wonderfully for all over quilting. We have independent designs, pivoting designs, echoing designs, and learn more about free motion quilting filler designs in part two of this video. Check it out at freemotionquilting.blogspot.com.